Hey everyone, Green Eyed Guide here. So welcome to the Green Eyed Guide Q&A session. Thank you for submitting your questions. Our first question tonight comes from Energy Drink Josh, who asks, how much caffeine in an energy drink would you consider to be a true energy drink? This is a great question because there's really no legal definition behind when a company can use the term energy. So you can have an energy drink that has zero milligrams of caffeine. And I've actually seen these products. Um, tea has about 45 milligrams of caffeine. So if it doesn't have at least 35 to 45 milligrams of caffeine, it's not really going to give you any energy. So I think the term energy drink for a product like that would be a little misleading. The other question that I get a lot, uh, most recently from a user named The Energy Shooter, I believe. I can't find the original comment, but I get this question all the time, and that is, how do I know which energy drink is right for me, or how do I know which one is too strong for me? And the best way I can answer that question is to say it really depends on your body. I mean, your best friend might be able to have an energy drink that has 90 milligrams, you know, like a Red Bull and be fine, but 90 milligrams might be too much for you. So you really have to, anytime you're trying caffeine, you have to take it a few sips at a time. You really need to nurse your energy drinks the same way you would nurse coffee because it's going to take 20 minutes for caffeine to kick in. So if you have this giant energy drink that has 300 milligrams of caffeine, like bang, and you have that whole can at once, then if you are the kind of person that gets really alert and active with 90 milligrams, then having that whole can of 300 is gonna be way too much for you. And it's gonna to be too late for you to do anything if you consume the whole can at once. After that, it really depends on how tired you are. You don't want to have the super, super strong energy drinks all the time because then when you really need it, you need your body to be sensitive to the strong caffeine drinks. So if you have those strong ones all the time, they're not going to work when you need them. So you always want to try and drink the weaker energy drinks when you just need a little bit of caffeine that way, when you do need the big ones, they'll actually kick in and they'll actually make you feel something. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Remember, you can submit your questions to any of my social media channels. I've got facebook.com slash green eyed guide. I've got the Instagram channel. You can also contact me for questions or public speaking and events and engagements through the contact me button at greeneyedguide.com. Again, this is Green Eyed Guide. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all your likes and comments and questions and follows. So thank you all very much. Have a great night.